If you're given the equation of a line and you're asked for the slope, you can find out what it is by putting the equation in slope-intercept form. And in blue here is slope-intercept form. The big thing about slope-intercept form is just that y is by itself. You solve the equation for y. And the slope is always going to be the number that's attached to the x, the coefficient of x, the number multiplying to x. And the y-intercept is always going to be the number hanging out by himself. So let's get the red equation in slope-intercept form. Where can I put this? I'm going to write up there. Uh, we need to get y by itself, so this guy's got to go. I'm going to subtract x from both sides of the equal sign. So we'll take one away right here. And that leaves us with negative 2y. Notice I didn't drop my negative sign here. That equals 4 minus x. Sometimes I'll student, see students try to say that's 3x there because they'll say 4 minus 1 makes 3x. No, 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 we can't do that because we don't know what x is, so you know we can't combine those. They're not like terms. So still trying to get y by itself, we can divide everything by negative 2. Not just once to each side with division. Uh, you need to, with, when you're dividing or multiplying, you need to do it once to each term to keep it balanced. 4 divided by negative 2 gives us negative 2. Negative x divided by negative 2, that gives us a positive one half x because that's one x divided by two there or you can rewrite it in slope intercept form one half x subtracted by two uh, it's perfectly fine to rewrite just as long as you keep the sign that's in front of your your term there like this is a positive one half x so i made sure it was a positive one half this is a negative two so i made sure it had a one minus sign in front of it so the slope is one half we put it in slope intercept form and the slope is always the number that's in front of x